It's Selena. So for today we are doing this burnt orange shade here um, on the lids. It's sort of like some browns or like um, rust colors on the eyelid. Um, I did use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette and then in the center I have ColourPop um, the Super Shock Shadows that they have which I've never actually used either of those. So um, this is what I came with up with for both of those. Um, if you do want to see how this look was created, please do keep watching. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So I've already started off with my Fenty Hydrating Primer, and then I've also put on the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation as well. Um, and I've only put that from about here up, and then I'll do the rest of the face after I'm done with uh, my eyeshadow. For primer, I'm just using the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. And it looks just like this. So let's start off with sort of like a tr transition shade at the crease here. I'm just going to use an M441 and it's just a fluffy brush. We're going to go right into orange soda and we're just going to sweep this across the eye. So just like this. Now when you're using this, um, don't put your brush away afterwards. Normally the one for the transition shade, the first shade that I put down, I sort of keep that to the side and I just leave it there because I know that I'm likely going to have to come back to that at the end when I need to blend out everything else that I've put down. So that's one thing that I sort of do. Okay. So that seems okay for now. Um, we're gonna go in with the next shade, which is Burnt Orange, this shade, this one here. We're gonna use that one. We're gonna go in with an R37 brush. Same area, just a little bit lower here. And normally I use this brush like for the transition shade, but it's newer so you can see that it's like a little bit more pointy. This is that first 441 that I went in and again, just blending these together and this is exactly why I don't use that same brush for another um, shadow until I'm done blending everything. That doesn't mean that you need a bunch of brushes, but hmm, a bunch of brushes though. Jeez. Um, you can always just clean off your brush um, to go to that next shade if you only have a couple of brushes. Um, I'm just crazy and I have a lot of brushes. I was looking at my brushes and I'm like, why are all my brushes? Why do they like, why are they so little? Like, I need more brushes. Let me show you where they all are. This is why I don't have any brushes in there. Because from all my looks, I don't like to wash brushes. And instead of washing brushes, I just buy new ones. Because I forget that they're in that other tub. Oops. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go in darker on the outside. So let me see... Let's actually go in with Sienna here. So it's sort of like on that brown, um, reddish, orange. Um, so let's get my 
favorite packer brush from the out from for the outside and inner corner which is actually not a packer brush it's just a smaller brush here that is sort of flat as well and this is an m456 i know the name or the number of the brush just because i use it so much and this one i basically just pack right on the side here so i don't actually use sort of the tip it's just on that one side and i just go right in here and just packing this on that outside we're likely going to go in with like a darker shade on top of this too but it's going to go on the outside and then right on the inside Notice that I'm sort of trying to keep this a little bit bare, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. You can sort of go all the way across as well. But we have that here. Now let's go to the other eye. And same thing. I'm noticing that a lot of my uh, videos that get the better um, views on it are sort of my neutral ones, ones that are not so crazy. So if you get bored of those, let me know and I can always do more colorful looks. Um, and I'm just putting a little bit more of that orange soda here. And let's go ahead and actually go in with the um, R37. I'm gonna go back in now with burnt orange and basically we're just trying to blend all three of those colors together. I don't know if you guys can see that right now, but um, there was sort of like a harsh line there and just by putting that burnt orange there between um, sienna and orange soda you can see sort of there's a transition there now so my ultimate goal with youtube is one i mean a lot of people ask me about makeup how do you do this how do you do that now this is a platform where people can go to um, my videos and just see how i did the the look and they'll be they can learn or do this at home by themselves um but another thing is is you can eventually get paid here um and that's sort of what i want to do um i think this is more of yes a hobby for me but um to get paid to do that is also great as well so when i say that you need a certain amount of subscribers or you need a certain amount amount of hours worked that is why I'm saying that I need those things is because eventually I can get paid doing this. Um, so that is one of my goals. And we're going to go in with Rustic here. Uh, it's this one here. We're going to grab another M456. Maybe if I have one clean. Yeah. See if I can get this a little bit deeper. You can see just slightly. I still want to be able to see Sienna though. Doesn't seem like it's maybe doing that much, but a little bit. I'm trying to sort of stick to the same palette so I'm not jumping around. And if somebody did want to create this look that they can do this with just the one palette rather than having to buy a whole bunch of different items for one look. Back in with Sienna. Basically, I'm just gonna sort of go in reverse now. I went in with the darkest one, went in with Sienna, now it's burnt orange, and I'm just going back and forth, 
in round and circles. Same thing here, back and forth, round and circles. And then we're gonna go back in with orange soda now. And I'm trying not to bring it up too far, but looks like that's what's happening. I just want everything to be as blended as possible. Okay, but I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise base and I don't know if that focused there. There you go. And this is in 0.5 Rumor. Excuse my nails. I did go get them done. But I didn't want to get the shellac, which, because I don't want anybody polishing on my nails or uh, filing my nails. But so I just got a regular manicure and look at my nails. They're like already all. That's all right. So I'm just going to put a little bit right in the center here, just so that way whatever color I put down has a base. And let's go in with a M124 brush. It's like a small packer brush. And I'm just going to put this here. This is going to go... Right in the center. So gonna leave that there and then we're gonna go back in um, possibly and pack some on the sides of like the other colors. Let me Let's just try to use our finger here. Yeah, better. Just put this right in the center. Everywhere that that base that you put down is, is where this is going to go. And if you go a little over that, that's fine too. We can always uh, clean it up on the sides just to make the two blend the outside colors and that center color so we'll do the other side all right so that is that and then that one is called lightning bug and it was just the orangey one okay so we're just going to put eyeshadow underneath the eye so we're gonna put this right underneath on both sides and then we'll go ahead and pack some of those shadows underneath we're gonna go in with sienna i'm just gonna put that closest to the lash line and on this one and i didn't put on any more product this is literally just what was on it from when I was using it earlier. Burnt orange. Right underneath. So I'm just trying to use the tip of that brush to go right underneath the eye. And the only thing touching my eye is that tip. Um, and I, I did dip back into that burnt orange. That's that, and now let's go ahead and go in with orange soda. Same thing, tapping into the product and then going underneath. So it's marked, smoked out, and I'm gonna just go back in with Sienna, going more on the tip of the brush this time, and just going back into this area. And if I want later, what I'll do is I'll likely put some of this underneath at the bottom. Actually, let's just do it right now. Uh, so in case it gets everywhere. So I'm just putting this right in the center where it sort of is underneath. Same thing on this side.
and notice on the upper one I put a like primer base down on the bottom I didn't but you still get the reflex underneath almost actually the same coverage as well let's do the rest of the face now so we're gonna go in with a Fenty primer okay let's go ahead and put um, my foundation now and like I mentioned before I think I mentioned it in the beginning um, that I'm using the Fenty Pro Filter um, foundation it's the hydrating longwear foundation So for concealer, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Pro Filter Concealer um, by Fenty. And I'm going to go in, and this one is really light, and my foundation is, I feel, a little dark. Um, but that's okay. So I'm just going to use the sponge I was using and go right underneath the eye. I feel like I, I do like my other concealers better than this one, but I feel like um, when a brand comes out with um, products, they make the products to go with their other products. So I felt like having the um, primer and the foundation, I should just as well stick with the concealer which I don't oh, I mean this one's okay but. so we'll go in there I'm also going to go down the nose when I go down the nose um, there's a couple of different ways and I don't always do this there's a couple of different ways you can always go down the nose just with your concealer which honestly I don't even do this anymore but I feel like I do this more I feel like I do like the extra concealer when I feel like my foundation is too dark um, but I put this here here everywhere that um, is more prominent on the face so the cheeks come out a little bit more the forehead comes out a little bit more the nose um, I put this there and you'll notice that I'm sort of going back in so this part has the concealer this part has um, the Con um, foundation so I sort of tried to blend the two together and then down the nose just down the center and then we can um, blend in everything later and I'm gonna go in with again Fenty her cream bron bronzer we'll go in with that first Honestly, I've been loving Fenty's products. I've actually, I think just the Pro Filter, um, the Pro Filter Concealer is really all I had before my channel started. And now I'm like checking all the time, like, oh, what do they have coming out? What do they have? Because I just love, like, I've been really happy with my purchases with uh, her or the company. Cause it's not all one person. All right. Mm. And for powder, we are using my ultimate favorite, Charlotte Tilbury, the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I don't say that slowly, <laughs> it comes out funny. Okay, so putting this sort of everywhere and then I'll go back over my um, bronzer. I'll go back over my bronzer with um, a powder as well. And notice I'm sort of missing the center here and underneath the eyes because I'm going to put another powder there. So for underneath the eyes, we're going to go in with my dirty hourglass up loose powder hourglass veil translucent setting powder that's what it's called i'm just gonna grab another 
sponge this one's dirty don't mind that though act like you didn't see it I'm gonna go right underneath the eyes so I just put this here to set my concealer and then I will go back over it with my uh, Charlotte Tilbury powder and for bronzer Charlotte Tilbury their airbrush bronzer I believe it's called and we're gonna go in with an M527 brush don't worry it's dirty I used it and we're just gonna go everywhere we put that cream bronzer And then let's go ahead and also do the nose. And I'm going to use a E32 brush for this. And I've never actually contoured the nose with this. But there's always a first for everything. So that is that. Now, let's go ahead. And again, I mentioned I'm going to go back over underneath the eyes with powder. So basically, one, I sweep away any of that. And then I also put a little bit of powder on it, too. Now let's go ahead and go in with blush. And for today, I'm going to use Patrick Ta's blush in She's Sincere. Yeah, use this brush. We're going to use an E4 brush. And let's see, this is, yeah. Apples of the Cheeks. It's a sort of orangey shade. So I thought it would match well with all of this. Okay, so most of the face is already done, um, but we're gonna go ahead and go back to the eyes now. So one thing that I wanna do is right where Right where this um, shimmery shade meets the rest of the um, eyeshadow, I want to sort of diffuse that or make it a little bit darker. So I'm going back in with my E456 and I'm dipping back into Rustic. So that's the darkest brown shade that I used. And I just sort of, you see that I just swiped along the top of that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. just to give everything sort of a blend together. And again, I'm just gonna move backwards now again. The E456 with Sienna on the side and just pack this on each side, right in between Rustic and what was this called again? Lightning Bug. Same thing on the other side. And don't worry if you cover up too much of that lightning bug. We can always go back with more. That's not that big of a deal. So, go underneath as well. And now, burnt orange. Just to make sure. And this time I'm going in super lightly. Same thing, I think before I said the same thing, super light, barely touching the eyes or the eyelid there. And now orange soda. All right, so that is that. And now. I'm actually going to go back in with Lightning Bug and I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more 
right in the center. I think these are finger eyeshadows, like, unless you guys are saying something and I don't. We're going to go in with Whisper of Guilt from MAC. And we're going to use an M510 brush. And we're going to move the hair out of the way and just go right in here. So I sort of started to put it on like the apples of my cheeks as well just to sort of get a sheen from the front as well. And let's do this side. Right on the tip of the nose. Okay, and then now let's go ahead and go in I'm just going to pull this brush. So this is the Anastasia um, brush that came actually in the palette. And we're going to go in with the larger size into the highlight. And this is going to go right at my brow bone. And same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to go in on the inner corner. And if you didn't know, now you know that this is my favorite part is putting on highlight. I'm going to go in with the more like flat, um, dense side and also go in here just to make sure that I have a lot there. So for lashes, I'm going to go in with the Style Diva, and this is from my On Fleek box, which I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, but could have swore I canceled it in April, but I received a box for April and June, or no, May and June, so apparently they didn't cancel it, even though I have email confirmation that they did cancel it, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and spray the face. This is the sponge I had. And just push that into the face. So for liner, we're going to go ahead and use Handbag Hope. This is by Kylie Cosmetics. And... For gloss, we're going to be using Don't Be Chai from Dose of Colors. Yeah. Alright guys, and this is the final look. I give this look um, is absolutely amazing. Um, for brown eyes, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my eyes um, are popping underneath this um, big lash that I have on. Um, but I do absolutely love, love, love the way this came out. Um, I've never actually used the Soft Glam palette. I've never used the Super Shock shadows um, and both were great. I mean, I expected a little bit more from the Super Shock Shadow, um, but given what my makeup looks like right now, I absolutely love the way that it came out. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy. And before you go, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you do, did like this look today.